tonight to warm up for the quarterfinals, it's a celebrity special featuring tabloid favourites Danielle Lloyd and Bianca Gascoigne. So solid Harvey on Hollyoaks Anthony Quinlan. Come on, let's have it. <laughs> Forget the jungle. Look how she's tugging me there. I thought my hands were going to rip off. Forget dancing. I've got a punch in my nose, so I suppose that's allowed. Pipe down, E17. On, I'm in. talking now. This is the ultimate celebrity challenge. This is Gladiators. to win £5,000 for charity. Oh, yes, their entourage can't help them now, and when this lot are finished with them, they'll be seeing stars. It's the Gladiators! It's Atlas! Ice! Spartan! Enigma! who are raring to take them on. It's Harvey, Anthony, Danielle and Bianca. is hoping to hit the headlines with tonight's performance. It is really important to me to keep fit and to look good because of my job. I used to be really sporty as a child. I was in the Liverpool gymnastics team. But I'm not as fit as I was back then. Shopping definitely keeps you fit. Carrying all them bags, what else can you do? <laughs> really excited to be taking part but I'm nervous at the same time. Obviously the gladiators are a bit scary but I do like a good challenge so I'll bring it on. Yeah. Gladiators, watch out. I may look sweet and innocent but looks can be deceiving. Just like. <laughs> okay, so tell us about your charity. What does charity you doing it for? I'm doing it for the Linda McCartney Centre, which is for breast cancer. Oh yeah. Okay, well, good luck with that. Best of luck to you. See you in a bit, John. Let's get it on, baby. So the first celebrity to face the gladiators is Danielle Lloyd. The gladiators won't be starstruck though. They look ready to strike. Danda! No shopping bags to wear down, but it's a timid start from Danielle. Keep moving. She's 
probably worried about getting her hair wet, I would think. Somehow or other, she's meandered across and picked up her first two points. Not bad at all. Still very tentative, and she's been sandwiched in. Oh, it's not the best of starts for Danielle Lloyd. Panther with the sucker punch. The gladiators making this look very easy indeed. Oh, Danielle, tell me how it went. What do you think of that? It's, it's pretty scary, isn't it? I knew Panther was going to get me off. So scary. What's the hardest part of it? It looks pretty shaky. How do you find it? It is shaky. It's just... You've got to be watching out for the balls coming behind you and in front of you at the same time. So. What's wrong with you, lot? What's wrong with you, lot? Tell us about it, look. When I was coming back, I just got a little bit... I slowed down a little bit. Look here. Oh, you got trapped between the balls there, look. She got absolutely sandwiched there. I've got the first game gone, so after now I'm going to hopefully do better. Good attitude, Daniel. That's the attitude we want. OK, well done, Daniel. Go and get yourself dried off. We'll see you on the next event. Our second celebrity contender to try their luck is Bianca. She's 21. She's from Hertfordshire. Bianca is Gaza's stepdaughter, and she'll have to be on the ball if she wants to win tonight. At school, I used to be captain of the girls' football team. Loved it. Loved getting in there, getting into the tackles and scoring the goals. I'm a model, and it's really important for me to try and keep in shape. I'm a little bit worried about this time because I've been eating loads of carbs, so my stomach's kind of sticking out, but it's kind of hard. When you have time off, you just want to go home and like, go to bed rather than go down the gym. I do want to win, of course. Everyone wants to win, don't they? No one likes to lose, so yeah. Gladiators, you better watch out. Even though I'm small, the bigger you are, the harder you're going to fall. What did your family say when they knew, knew you were going to be on Gladiators? Oh, I rung my brother up, Mason, and I said, um, I'm doing the Gladiators. And he said, uh, well, you're going to get beaten up. <laughs> and that was it, really. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> and which charity are you, are you doing this for tonight? I'm doing it for Refuge, which is for domestic violence. Now, Danielle only got two points. Can you top that? I will try my hardest, yes. Very good luck to you. Good luck. Go and get ready. Well, Bianca's got great support here from her brothers and mum, Cheryl. Contender! Hooray! Yeah! Us, hooray! Three, two, one! Well, can Bianca make a faster start than Danielle? It looks like the answer is no. Even slower, in fact, if that's possible. It looks like she's just a sitting target out there for the Gladiators. And in she goes. Bianca in the drink. It was Panther who scored the direct hit. Always a treat to see a celebrity soaking. Let's hope the boys do better, or this will be a long night. Bianca, come on over here. That didn't go to plan, did it? That was absolutely rubbish. A little bit risky coming on there. Just missed that one. Thought I'd be all right to go. Yep, obviously that one. Panthers won, knocked me straight out. Oh, no. Uh, good luck for the rest of the events. Let's have a look at the scores after that first event. Probably the worst performance on Hit and Run so far, I'm afraid. Both girls need to raise their game. So the girls have made their entrance, but next on the guest list are the boys. And turn them away from the door are these guys. Destroyer! Join us after the break. <laughs> Contenders have given up glitz and glamour in return for an excruciating endurance of pain and fatigue, all in the name of charity. Yes, before the break, our celebrity female contenders took on Hit and Run, and now it's time for our guys to show us what they're made of. There'll be no time to stop and smile for the cameras. They'll be dealing with this furious four. It's Destroyer! from South London. As a rapper, Harvey's got the gift of the gab. Does he have the walk to match his talk? 21 seconds, uh, 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 21 seconds. Uh, uh, uh. Everyone knows me for being famous from coming from music, you know, so solid. 21 seconds. 
Recently had a baby daughter, my little lovely bee of my life. That's a pigeon. You look at life a lot differently, you know, you have to wake up in the morning, the first thing you think about is your daughter. Yeah. And it's the greatest feeling in the world. But don't get this twisted, I have not come on Sky One and Gladiators to mug myself off, because this is war. It is war, no doubt about it. It's beef. I respect your talent, but I'm not having it. No. So feel free to come for me, but I am prepared for you. So, Harvey, welcome to Gladiators, man. I know you're a big fan. You glad to be here? I'm over the moon to be here. It's a boy or dream of mine, man. I can't wait to get out there. What about your dad? Your, dad's, your dad was a gladiator, wasn't he? My dad was a former gladiator. Bullet, he's over there representing South London in the house. <laughs> yeah, man, Bullet's here. And what about your charity, my friend? My charity is the Sierra Leone War Trust Fund, because my granddad was from Sierra Leone. There's, there's a lot of bad things that was going on with the Civil War. It's a good one, Arvin. Good luck, my man. Thanks a lot, man. Go and rep. Cheers, man. See you in a while, my man. This is going to be good. So Harvey's got gladiator blood pumping through his veins, but will it help him against our new breed of superhuman gladiators? Contender Harvey! Gladiators Harvey! Three, two, one! What a pretty unorthodox start there from Harvey. I think he threw in a bit of breakdancing as well, but he's fit, this guy. Good athlete, good footballer. And that's two points in the back. That'll settle his nerves. Off he goes again. Oh, he took a hit there, but he's solid. Dare I say, so solid. And that's another two points. Now, he seems to have built up some kind of momentum here. But just as I say that, he's been taken out. Spark, the star of the show. And Harvey's dad bullet will know just how hard it is out there. His son will have to settle for just four points. I gotta to say to you, man, when you was running, it looked like you was just about to get beaten or something, and you was running from your dad or something. <laughs> you look so timid. What you watching this stuff? I'm gonna get hammered by my boys when I get back home. Look. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. It's, it's going well, man. I'm enjoying it. Man. I'm enjoying the day. This is a special exactly. thing, gladiators. We love gladiators, love man. It. Okay, well done, my friend. Okay, our final contender to take on the might of our gladiators is Northern Star Anthony, 23 from Manchester. Well, the other star Anthony is used to delivering lines. Can he deliver in this epic battle, though? Been at Hollyoaks now for three years. It's been a great experience. I am a bit of a couch potato, to be honest. I've not really done any training whatsoever, so obviously I'm a bit nervous about the whole situation. The majority of my training is probably just down in keg. If you've got two parts a day training, and yeah, that's, that's as far as it goes for me. No, I play, I play a little bit of football. My favourite team is Man United, without a question. I play City fan on the show, and it absolutely kills me, man. It kills me beyond belief. I'm quite competitive. Anybody who knows me will say that. So as much as I'm in it for the fun and for the games, I'm going to be giving it 110 percent. Whoever I'm against, he's going to he's going to be right up against it. Anthony, are you ready to take on our gladiators? Do I look ready? Check me out. You look very ready. <laughs> and which charity are you sporting tonight? Um, it's going to be Manchester Children's Hospital. So yeah. Well, let's see how you get on. Good luck, Anthony. Thank you very much. And Hollyoak star Anthony needs to pick up at least four points to stay in touch with Harvey. Contender! Hooray! Gladiators! Hooray! Three, two, one! Well, it's another very tentative start. Anthony obviously wants to make sure he gets those first two points in the bag, and he's delivered. He's still looking very nervous up there, I have to say. We're in a bit of a stumble. The rules state you can't stop running. You have to keep going. He's taken another hit, but he's managed to keep his balance and collect another two points. Run. Still stopping too often, though, and referee John Anderson has to keep reminding him of the rules. Two more points on the board, though. He's moving better now. Off he goes again, with John Anderson still reminding him he has to keep moving. He took another hit, but he's just plowing on now. They seem to be almost goading the gladiators there. Really racking up the points now. This is a fantastic run by Anthony. He's overcome his early nerves, but in the end, he's in. 
Spartan brings down the curtain on a superb performance. And don't give up the day job, Predator. A great performance from Anthony, who sets the standard for tonight's celebrities. Anthony, congratulations. That was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. you got ten points. Yeah. You must be happy with that. So first, so first. I remember giving it a bit of mouth at one point. I think that was after about three goals. What are you saying? I don't, oh, come on, let's have it. <laughs> Seems to work that way. It did you know very, very much so, and you nearly really, tripped at this point, didn't you? Well, yeah, I thought I was going to go right for the crash mass. Well, you did really well. 54 seconds, 10 points. Congratulations, with one event down, let's look at the scores. And it's Anthony who's the leading man so far in tonight's Gladiator soap opera. Celebs are used to living the high life, but we're about to see their rise and fall in less than 60 seconds. They'd better get a grip of themselves. It's the wall. The wall. Well, a lot of work to do here if they want to succeed. Panther is chasing Danielle, and Tempest trying to catch Bianca. Contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one! Off they go then, and it's Bianca, who's made the strongest start. Danielle looked hesitant at first, but she's really into her stride now. The Gladiators waiting, and off they go now. Tempest absolutely flying up the wall. She really is the Gladiators defeat in this event. She's already got hold of Bianca's ankle. Daniel, though, is making great progress here against Panther. Bianca tries to hold on. Meanwhile, Daniel seems to have done it. And she has. It's a fantastic result. And that's more like it. <laughs> you made it! It's really good. I can't believe I've done it. <laughs> you got some help at the top there. Yeah, yeah. Nice honey. <laughs> you know what as well? Panther is going to be so upset. I know. OK, let's see what she's got to say with Kirsty. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? She got away, Panther. She was rapid up that wall. No, all the credits were 10 points. I tried my hardest, but obviously not good enough tonight, so well done. Well, listen, girls, you were very good as well, Bianca. Thank you, thanks. <laughs> Well, when I saw her, I thought, right, just hold on. <laughs> just holding on for dear life. Did you feel you just can't go any further? I, I thought my hands were going to rip off. Yeah, she is um, strong. Look at that. Look how she's tugging me there. It looks a bit... <laughs> well, the girls have hit the halfway mark before they face the sweat-inducing eliminator. Let's see how their scores stand. Danielle will enjoy seeing her name up in lights. She's on 12 points. The anchor zero. So now, over to the men's wall. Anthony is being chased by Predator. Spartan is on Harvey's tail. Spartan? Who's Spartan? <laughs> Who's even he's at home? Remember, our gladiators are fully trained, so don't try this at home. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. The both contenders go flying into action very quickly. Harvey with the early advantage, Anthony climbing very steadily as well. Now the Gladiators are off, and Predator have jumped almost half the wall in one bound. This guy is superhuman. Predator stalking his prey and goes in for the kill. But Harvey looks like he could grab the full ten points here. Spartan trying to reach him. Has he made it? No! Oh, how disappointing for Harvey and his dad bullet. Both gladiators did their jobs. Harvey was close, but no cigar. Guys, come over. Come over here, Harvey. You nearly got there. You must be gutting. I am fuming. I had a great start. I could see Wrighty representing South London waiting for me. <laughs> Put his hand up. I can't believe it, the last one. I'm going to have bad dreams about that all night. Got you. And Anthony, here you are. Talk us through this one. <laughs> Spider Man, eat your heart out. You do look like Spider Man. It's, it was a good attempt, but hey, I give it me all. Do you know what I mean? I'm afraid no points for either of you. So let's remind ourselves of your scores at the halfway point. Gutsy performance from both men, but the scores remain Harvey four, Anthony ten. 
It's time for our jet. It's time for our jet setting celebrities to clock up some more air miles as they take to the skies. It's hang tough. Hang tough. The first contender to go airborne is Danielle. If she's not quick, she'll be heading for a crash landing. As she's facing this first class gladiator, it's Battle Axe. First time for Battle Axe on the rings in this series, so she's built up a real appetite, and it's a celebrity on the menu. So if Danielle can swing across to the Gladiators platform, she'll get the maximum 10 points, but if she can hang tough in the scoring zone, it's five. Three, two, one! Well, Danielle will have to pick her route very carefully here. It's a bit trickier than dodging her fellow shoppers in Liverpool. Remember, though, that she was a gymnast as a kid. However, Battle Axe is already locked on like a celebrity-seeking missile, and she's taken her out with awesome speed and strength. An early soaking for Danielle, an impressive performance by Battle Axe. Danielle, come over. Bad luck up there. Now, were you looking forward to this event? No, I really wasn't looking forward to this one. I got a good swing off, but the only way of me doing it was just hoping that I could get straight across and... I'm and hoping she wouldn't come quite as quickly yeah. as that. Battle Axe, what did you make of Danielle? Oh, I think I was probably the envy of millions of people out there being able to wrap my legs around Danielle Lloyd. <laughs> I think you'd be right there, definitely. Well, well done. Bianca's up next and hoping to cause the next big splash is Enigma. Enigma's a hang top veteran with four appearances on the rings in this series. may be experienced in this event, but she's only got a 50% success rate, so perhaps Bianca will feel that she can make up some points here. Oh, and Enigma and Bianca both went for the same ring then. They're just managing to make a tactical retreat. She seems to be just hanging back at the moment, trying to stay out of Enigma's way. Enigma stalks her, but she's got hold of the ring and pounced. Gives her a little tickle under the arm, would you believe? Bianca didn't see the funny side, though. And now she goes down. Enigma victorious. Bianca's yet to score. But Cheryl and Regan Gascoigne still enjoying the show. Hey, Bianca. How'd you find that? It's, it's tough, isn't it? It's a tough one, isn't it? It is really, really tough. Did she tickle you there? She did, she did tickle me, but I'm not very ticklish under my arms, so if that one didn't really work. If she got my stomach, then I would have dropped straight away. <laughs> OK, yeah. so what about Bianca? Was she a good catch? You know what, Ian? I thought being a Gascoigne, she would be like a premiership game up there. Instead, it was like a Sunday league match. Oh, no, Enigma! She's so horrible deep down sometimes. It doesn't matter. Come in, let me give you a hug. It's the red carpet for Danielle, but a red face for Bianca, who trails 12 points to nil. Stars for waterproof mascara. It's time for our boys to swing into action. Unfortunately, though, for Arby, you'll be facing one of the boys from our very own crew. It's Tornado. Don't miss it. Welcome back to Gladiators! It's a celebrity special, and tonight, four famous faces have sweated it out for the chance to win £5,000 of charity. Harvey's ready to hang tough and ready to give the boy from Battersea a good battering is a gladiator with serious attitude. It's Tornado. With five appearances and five wins on Hang Tough, Tornado will relish putting the wind up our celebrity. Apprehensive as he makes his first swing out to the center. It's not an easy event, this, and that's incredible. With just two swings, Tornado's already tracked him down. That took just five seconds. Surely there's only one way this can end now. Tornado's showboating, really making this look easy. Come on, Tornado. You've got to put him out of his misery, and he has. Tornado barely out of breath. That looked absolutely effortless. Let's have Absolutely big.
right time again. It's my time. The master of disaster. What's that all about? Tornado, tell me something, man. I actually took pity on the guy because he reminds me of a younger version of myself who was about 13 or something. We all see what happened up there. Once again, precision takedown, absolute beautiful work from Tornado, your man. And if you want to bring your boys, the Soul Solid crew over here, and yourself, and start beefing it up, then let's go, Twinkle Toes. Okay, let's see if Anthony can beat that as he goes up against the Gladiator with an appetite for destruction. It's Atlas. Anthony may rival him in the hair department, but when it comes to muscles, Atlas might just have the upper hand. Well, as we saw, Harvey really had trouble against the Gladiator in this event. Can Anthony make his lighter frame work to his advantage here? He's going out really wide, trying to swing around Atlas, but it looks as though Atlas has now got him in his sights. And with one swing, he's made full body contact, and a little shake, and Anthony is off. It proved to be an easy win for Atlas in the end, and he really is in the limelight once again here. Anthony, that was a very good effort, I have to say. Thought I'd done him there, you know, I thought I'd done him and he called me, man, he called me. That was it, took all the motion out of the swing and it was game over. Did you have a game plan? Uh, not really, just go out there and swing like mad. Well done, good effort anyway, let's have a look at the scoreboard. So, no points for the boys either in this event. The Gladiator's certainly on fire tonight. Celebrity contenders are used to dealing with pushy journalists, but they're about to come face to face with our pushy gladiators. It's the final event, so get ready for the backlash, because it's Earthquake! Earthquake. And it's Ice, who Danielle faces in this event. If she manages to stay on the platform for the full 30 seconds, she gets five points. But she'll have to push Ice off for the maximum ten. goes and they're off. Ice with an early push and Danielle's down already. Ice has got to let her get back up again so battle can resume. She looked a bit reluctant to get back on her feet and I'm not surprised. Yeah, got to get off quickly. Yes, the referee just having a word of warning there. And Danielle looks as though she doesn't stand a chance here. Ice is on great form tonight. And let's just hope she's saving her strength for the Eliminator. And finally, we see a smile from Ice. Now business is over, and Danielle goes away with no points. Danielle, you put up a very good fight, I think. That's a scouser coming out of me. I couldn't get up properly. I was out of breath. Is that why you were slow to get up? Yeah, I thought I was going to um, come off the first time by the pyramid, and then she just had me, so. Well, it's out the way now. Let's see how uh, Bianca gets on. Bianca's got the full Gascoigne support here, and she'll need it against this hard-to-beat gladiator. Contender! Ready! Gladiator! Ready! Three, two, one! Bianca looking hesitant to get stuck in, but now the scrap begins, and she's giving it some real welling, and the platform's tilted in their favour. Could Ice be in trouble here? And they hit the mat together. Now, the rules say if that happens, the contender only receives five points rather than the ten. So, Bianca, you was under pressure to get some points there. You got five points there. You happy with that? I've got five. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. But you both hit the mat at the same time. It's a bit harsh for me. I would like to give you ten, but that's the rules. OK, well, then five points better than nothing. So. Exactly. Well, well done to Bianca. She needed points. She got the points. So our girls have done everything they can to give them a lead as they prepare to endure the Eliminator. Let's see the final scores and find out who's getting the next start. Bianca's finally off the mark, but Danielle's lead means a three-and-a-half-second head start in the Eliminator. Next from Earthquake and ready to shake, rattle and roll are the boys. First and ready to bump and grind is Harvey. You ready for this one? Born ready, born ready. Very good. Well, good luck to you. You might just need it because uh, you'll be facing the force of oblivion. Harvey said he was born ready for this, but is anyone born ready to face oblivion? With a four stone weight disadvantage, let's hope his confidence sees him through. Contender! Off 
we go, and Harvey really keen to get his hands dirty here. It's a terrific tussle already. Both men really going for it, they're down. Harvey's dad egging his son on, you can smell the testosterone from here. Harvey seems to be appealing to the referee. He feels Oblivion's not playing fair here. It's supposed to be a pushing and pulling match, but neither will give up. John Anderson's got a difficult job on his hands here. They're all over each other. Has Harvey got the edge? Well, was that Oblivion's first defeat? It's unheard of, or were the rules broken? Guys, come over. John's coming over as well. Punch, punches that out, John, yeah? What was the outcome there, John? The decision is... He's disqualified. Why? And he's disqualified. The aim here is not to have a wrestling match, but to have a push and pull type of shoving match. Neither of them listened to that. Both of them were wrestling, so both of them disregarded the rules several times, disqualified. It was a good little sportsman fight, but he started to play dirty near the end. So, can I say? So, you don't think you did anything wrong, Harvey? No, not at all. Not at all. I got punched in my nose, so I suppose that's allowed. But no problem, it's all in the name of charity and sport, and I'll just take it like a man. But I didn't know punches were allowed. Oblivion? Pipe down, E17. Hang on a minute. I'm talking now. It's not my fault that Penelope Pipsqueak is only five foot eight or whatever he is. But the minute he comes in low, I've got no choice but to defend myself. He's the one who took it this way, and that's why he got disqualified, and he's brought me down to his pathetically low standards. Thank you very much, Oblivion. OK, guys, well, you'd better get your head together, Harvey. Oblivion, let's bring on the final contender, Anthony, and see if he's quaking in his boots. Oh! I am. Oh! Well, Harvey fought so hard, but the rules have to be adhered to. Can Anthony do any better? I doubt if eyeballing Oblivion will help. He still looks furious. Contender! Disqualified has really riled Oblivion, and Anthony's off after just two seconds. Oblivion took his anger out on him and chucked him straight off the platform. Well, the dubious dancing, but that's pumped up his ego again. Not that it needed it much. It's not our fault that Harvey nearly beat him, so he took it out on you. Let's watch. Hey, bless the big soul, big man. Oh, man. Have you got anything to say? You are looking at the undisputed, undefeated Earthquake Champion of the World! The big old baby! And one more thing, Ian. If I ever have to be distracted by such a hideous outfit again, you and I are going to have one. Yeah, move, move yourself. Move yourself. Eliminator. Let's see the score final score. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anthony stays out on top and has a three seconds head start in the Eliminator. Our website's the place to go if you want to keep in a loop with all the Gladiator news, interviews, and the details are on the screen now. Whilst our celebrities come to terms with the horrors they face tonight, we'll be setting up for the final instalment of perspiration and pain. Their agents won't be able to get them out of this one. It's the Eliminator. We'll see you after the to Gladiators! Tonight, four courageous celebrities have taken on our Gladiators in Hit and Run, The Wall, Hang Tough and Earthquake, and they're all fighting it out to win £5,000 for charity. But we're not going to be showing them any charity just yet, as they're about to experience one of the toughest challenges of their lives. It's the Eliminator. I'm here with the girls. Danielle, you've got a three and a half second lead. Are you confident that's enough for you to win this tonight? Do you know what? This is a really, really difficult challenge, and you know I'll be happy whoever wins tonight. It's for a good cause, and I've done the best I can today. And me and B have both worked really hard. Now, Bianca, it all boils down to this. Are you nervous? I am a little bit nervous, but I'm actually quite excited for this one. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, well done, both of you. Good luck. See you at the finishing line. Off you go. Thank you. Well, it's been an epic battle all night between these two famous faces. Danielle with a three and a half second head start, remember. Danielle, 
you will go on my first whistle. Bianca, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. So Danielle first into the water, but Bianca will only be moments behind. They're both strong swimmers. Danielle just about maintaining her lead, but this looks desperately close as they reach the cargo net. Tired arms and legs at this stage of the contest, and Danielle in particular seems to be struggling. It's so hard after these contenders have been pushing themselves all the way to the limit in those previous events of the night. They both found a rhythm now, nothing to separate them as they heave themselves towards the top and on towards the cotton reels. And Bianca's over first. Danielle's really struggling at the moment, losing valuable seconds. No airs and graces about these two celebrities. They've given their absolute all to their chosen charities, and it's been a great effort, irrespective of the outcome. Bianca, first to the rope and on towards the monkey bars, as Danielle now looks to have pulled it back. A much closer contest now. Wonderful battle, this. Stride for stride. Oh, but Bianca's fallen. And that means a 10-second time penalty starting from when she gets to the end of the net. Can Danielle make the advantage count? Off she runs towards the pyramid. Now, due to a minor injury that Danielle has been carrying, neither girl will be coming down the zip line. Instead, when they reach the top, they'll hit the button and head back down again. This is so close now. Danielle just maintaining a lead, but that can all change when both girls line up at the bottom and face the dreaded travelator. It must be a lot easier going down the pyramid than it was scaling it a moment ago. Now comes the travelator, and they're both there almost at the same time. Who has most strength left? Who's got the energy to climb the travelator and keep going to the top? Danielle has fallen, and Bianca just claws her way to the top, and she's done it. Bianca Gascoigne has won the women's celebrity gladiator special. Well done. Congratulations, you've won. How are you feeling? Oh, out of breath. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was much, much harder than I ever expected. Which bit was the hardest then? Do you know what? The bit that was like kind of wears you out, you start on the pyramid and you're just trying to reach up and get up it. Oh my god, yeah, it's hard. But... You, Danielle, well done as well. You were brilliant. How are you feeling? Uh, I can't even speak. It's so tiring. I thought I was going to give up. Did you wonder if you had anything left? I didn't. I barely didn't. It was just the adrenaline. It kicked in and just told me to keep on going. But I'm so happy because we yeah. won. And also, we've also another thing with our charities, we're splitting the money. So it's going to go to both charities. Well, well done, both girls. You've been brilliant contenders. You've won money for your charities. Yes. So go off and see your families. Thank you very much. Really, Thank you. really brilliant. Well, what an amazing effort. Ian's with the boys back at the start. Great sportsmanship there as Bianca splits her winnings, so the Linda McCartney Centre and Refuge will each receive two and a half thousand pounds. Okay, so Arby Andy, there's no turning back now. What about this new eliminator do you think is gonna cause you problems? It's just the whole water element. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's not a brother thing, really, yeah, is it? The swimming thing. thing. What about you? What part of it with you, Anthony? Exactly the same as half, man. I mean, I've, I've got a bit of a three second head start there, but that's not going to mean anything when I'm doggy paddling through, so do you know what I mean? So, so, so you're not a great swimmer, so it's not just the brothers? Nah, it's not just the brothers, man, but I'm going to give it everything, man. We've got a little race going on here, so yeah, let's see how it goes, man. Listen, <laughs> good luck to the both of you. You've both been brilliant. I'll catch up with you on the finish nice line here. Yeah, good luck. Right, nice one, half. So, and have a good one, man. Well, a tough act to follow for the boys. They both have great support here in the arena. Anthony has got that three-second head start. Can he use it wisely? Anthony, you will go on my first whistle. Harvey, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. And Anthony holds his nose on the way in. Haven't seen that one before. Clearly not the strongest of swimmers, but he's powering on now. And Harvey, who said he was worried about the water, has actually caught up with him and is going past him. And he'll reach the cargo net first with that slightly great effort there by Harvey. Jameen, his partner, getting excited. Everyone in the arena is. We all are now, as Harvey holds himself up. Anthony seems to be catching him. He's having a bit of a crap now. Harvey's at the top already. 
Harvey's at the top already and on towards the cotton reel. And Anthony is still struggling with that net. Harvey building up a real lead here now as Anthony finally makes it to the top. Harvey preparing to face the dreaded handbikes though. An absolute killer section in the eliminator. Anthony onto the cotton reel now. He's desperate to claw back some time as Harvey is really driving that handbike forward. Although his arms must be burning inside. Anthony about to face the handbike himself as Harvey powers on. Anthony under pressure now. What has he got here? Oh, it was an uncertain start and in fact he's fallen. And that could be a very expensive error as Harvey accelerates away. Anthony's going to have to make up 15 seconds now. Harvey sprinting his way up the pyramid. And he's not going to let this mountain slow him down. Anthony's time penalty is finally up and he can continue the race. But surely Harvey has got this one in the bag. He flies down the zip wire. Can he bring it home? He's still got the mother of all hurdles to face, though, the Travelator. Great support for him in the arena. And Harvey even feels he's got time to draw breath and compose himself. Anthony not yet in sight. Off he goes. Oh, but an early stumble. And he's in trouble. Dad Bullock yelling encouragement as Anthony finally reaches the bottom of the Travelator. And the pressure is back on for Harvey now. And he has stumbled so close to the top. Oh, what a disappointment for him again. Anthony's back alongside him. Javine can only watch and pray for Harvey. But he's slipped already. This is incredible. One of the best eliminators we've ever seen. And now a real chance for Anthony to beat the odds and claim victory. He's almost there. Oh, no. He's got his fingers on the top. But the Travelator drags him back down to the bottom. Harvey gets another opportunity. But again, he's fallen. This is excruciating. They've used every last ounce of strength. Can they summon one more big effort? Anthony has made it. Unbelievable. And Harvey will be determined to finish himself. What a competitor. He's finally made it to the top, but it's too late. Anthony is victorious. Come over, come over. And you did it, congratulations, mate. Look at that, look, 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 here you go, Ant, this is it. Where'd you find that from, Ant? Where'd you find that? You, you already went up twice? Yeah, I done, didn't I? Pulled it right out of me, boom. Yeah, it was cool there. Well, well done, you've done 5,000 pounds for your charity. Tell us who your charity is again. No, nah, man, we're splitting it. You're gonna split it as we're well? We're splitting it, man. It's a nice gesture. He's a true, he's a true winner. He's a true winner, man, I'm telling you. Cheers, it's going to us both, mate. My, my charity is the Manchester Children's Hospital. I can't even speak, I can't even say the name, but yeah, it's for the kids back in Manchester. OK, so the Manchester Children's Hospital. And what about yours, Al? Sierra Leone War Trust Fund. All for a good cause, mainly going out to Africa. Wicked. Okay. Listen, both of you, awesome effort, brilliant. The charities will be very proud of you. Well done to the boys. Go and see people. Hey, listen, well done to all our winners tonight. Well done to Bianca and Anthony. They're both brilliant. Well done, fellas. Come this way. That was awesome. Nice one. Well, as an event, it certainly lived up to its billing. After incurring a massive 15-second penalty on the handbike, for Anthony to come back and win is incredible. What a night it's been. Let's say for all our celebrity contenders who have proven they have the guts and determination to take on our gladiators. And, of course, let's give it up for our winners, who have both won £5,000 for their chosen charities. Congratulations. For all I see ya. Good night. See you next time. Join us next time for the first of the Gladiators quarterfinals as four heroic contenders fight for a place in the semi-final and a chance to win a share of the £100,000 prize fund. Insults. I was hanging on, but the breath was getting that bad. I just had to let go. Injury. Medic. The competition gets tougher than ever. At sky.com slash gladiators, there's exclusive goodies and a chance to win a Nintendo Wii. And if you think you have what it takes to defeat them, press the red button on your remote now. Remember, you can watch this and loads of other top Sky One shows when you want, thanks to the wonder of the Sky player at sky.com. Roll on the quarterfinals.